Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's video, you'll learn an easy method for doing WordPress migration, WordPress backups, and WordPress staging. Now, traditionally, these are fairly technical exercises, but today you'll learn a very easy method that even beginners can follow. And this even uses a free plugin. So anyone can follow along with this and try it for free. To show you how this works, I've got a demo website set up here, Ideaspot Online. And to get the plugin, you head to your dashboard under plugins, we're gonna add new. And we can search here for WP Vivid. That's how you spell it, WP Vivid, all one word. And that should come up straight there as the first result, migration, backup, and staging is the one we're gonna to use today. So we're gonna install that now and then activate that after it's installed. There we go, we click activate there and that should be good to go. You'll notice that has five stars out of 847 reviews. So it's quite well regarded in the WordPress community. Lots of active installs there as well. So this is our main interface, heaps of features in the free version, but I'm gonna focus on the core features here, backup and staging and migration as well. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So the first thing we'll work on is doing a backup. So by default, it's going to back up our database and our files to the local drive of our website. So quite straightforward, just hit backup. Um, alternatively, you can do it to a remote server as well. So back up to remote storage in the free version, we can do this uh, to a range of places. So Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon's S3, DigitalOcean Spaces, or a custom FTP or SFTP. So lots of things to do in the free version. This is normally a premium feature in most other backup plugins. So really cool, they included remote storage in the free version there. I'm just gonna do it on the local drive for this demo and I'll do the whole backup. So let's just hit backup now. This shouldn't take too long. This is a fairly small uh, demo website. So I'll just let that run. So after a few seconds in this case, finished. So backup task finished and we can see our backup is down here. So we can go ahead and download that to our local computer or we can even restore the backup to bring our website back to the point where it was backed up. So really straightforward there. What you probably will want to do is do an automatic schedule of backupping as well. So enable backup schedule and you can do that every 12 hours, daily, weekly, fortnightly or monthly all in the free version or you can set a custom um, schedule in the pro version but I think that's probably enough for most of us there and we can choose what we wanna back up there database and files or just the database or just the files. So um, again, you've got the option of the local web server or storing it on a remote server as well, all in the free version. So really cool backup features from uh, WP Vivid's backup plugin. The other thing you'd want to choose at this stage is under settings, there's the number of backups you can retain. In the free version, you can retain up to seven uh, backups on the drive. So in this case, if you're doing it every month, so you could have seven months of backups, for example. So if you want to retain more backups, that's in the pro version, but I think this is still pretty generous in the free version there. So just select that as you need. I might max it out at seven in my case, but let's go ahead and look at the next feature that I really like in here. It's called auto migration. So migration is going to be really useful for those of us who want to move a website from one server to another. Usually it's a fairly involved process doing a migration. You have to back the site up, download it, upload it onto the new site and restore it. And that can take a few steps. Um, auto migration really quite simplifies this process because what it does, it allows us to uh, generate a key and do it all remotely. So let's, for example, we've got this website on Ideaspot Online. Let's say I did a really uh, massive update on a development site. I want to do a big change. I want to turn it into this site. So a huge update. I want to push this, migrate it onto our production server here. So let's do it. Um, so what I'll do here, auto migration, we have to generate a key on our production site. So we'll go to key there and we can choose how long it will take for this uh, key to expire. That will allow us to um, take our development site and push it onto our production site. So let's go ahead, copy this key. And then we can head over to the development site that we've been working on here. So development idea spot, for example, or wherever you are working on it, maybe on a local computer, um, but either case, head over to your backup plugin here. And we're gonna do this migration. So all we do is we go over to our auto migration and then we paste that key in to the development site, save it on there. And that will allow us to clone and then transfer this whole website. So this whole website's gonna get cloned 
and then transfer it over to the production site. So all done in one click. So I really quite like this. They've included this in the free version. It's really cool as well. So I'll go ahead and let this run and come back in a second. All right, so that all is all finished. We've got the green success message up there and this should have transferred over to our production site. So we can see over on our production site, it hasn't actually transferred um, and gone live yet. We do have to activate this uh, migration. So what we do is we head over to our backups. And what we're gonna find here, uh, once I reload this page, is we should see the receive backup from the migration in our backup list there. And all we have to do to make this live is hit restore. And that's gonna bring over the new website onto our production site here. So if we click restore, click okay, and we're gonna get some progress bar here. Let it run, let it do its thing, and I'll come back in a second when this is done. This probably won't take long because it's a fairly small little website here. And that looks like it's all good, uh, successful. And click OK there. And now we're gonna have to log back in because it has completed the migration. This is gonna be whatever uh, username and password we used on our development site here. So I'm just gonna put those credentials in and log in. And we're back. And hopefully if we visit this site, it should have replaced our site with our development site that we just migrated over. So really, really easy way of doing a WordPress migration with WP Vivid. And the other feature that I really like in this plugin is the staging feature. So we're gonna to go to our menu and click staging here. All right, so WP Vivid gives us the ability to create a staging site completely from within WordPress here. That'll be based on your um, exact copy of the production site, or you could do one based on a completely fresh install of WordPress if you like. So that's really simple. Um, go ahead and create a staging site. It's gonna put it into a custom directory. Um, by default, it's gonna be my staging 01, my staging 02, etc. Or on the uh, pro version, you can put it onto a subdomain if you like as well. But um, all fairly straightforward, just click create and that's gonna create a staging site. And uh, so all we have to do is just wait for that to finish. Um, I'll pause the video and come back when that's done. So once that's all done, we can see our staging site has been created. We can view the staging site there or view the admin panel of the staging site there. So uh, it'll look exactly the same the production site. The only thing that you'll get after we log in, the login will be the same credentials as your production site, but uh, you'll see that we've got an orange banner up the top. So you know that you're working on a staging site. You can go ahead and test things and check out what it will look like. If you want to try a new plugin or something uh, before trying it on your production environment, you can try it on your staging site in a safe place. Um, one thing you'll notice is that um, copying the staging site to live is a pro feature. So if I really wanted to use this feature, I'd probably go with the pro version, but um, it is nice that they pop that into the free version so you can um, have a look at how that works. And besides this, they've also added a couple other interesting features like uh, database snapshots. So if you're doing development work and you wanted to uh, take snapshots, roll back uh, snapshots of your site when you're doing customizations on your WordPress site, this is a handy feature. And Image Cleaner is quite an interesting thing that they added as well. It allow you to scan your media library and find images that are not in use. It allows you to clean up your database and save some space on your server, save some server resources. So you can go ahead and try out the Image Cleaner as well, but always take a backup before you go ahead and um, try deleting unused images um, just to be safe. But um, interesting little features that they've added, but I really think the core Features that I enjoy the most are the backups, particularly having remote storage in the free version and that auto migration. It's probably the easiest way of doing WordPress migrations that I've come across. That basically covers all the main features of the free version. If we head back to the WP Vivid description page on the WordPress repo, we can see all the pro version features. So a lot more features in the pro version. Probably the main ones that you'd be interested in, like we saw before, staging sites, you can push them to live with a single click. Um, that would be really nice to have. Incremental backups is a good one as well, because rather than backing up every single thing every time, you just back up the increment that was changed. What I mean is it'll only back up the changes rather than the whole website every time. That's gonna save a lot of storage and it's gonna save a lot of uh, server resources as well. It won't take as long to do a backup if it's just backing up a small amount each time. So that's quite a good feature in the pro version. A lot more customizable in terms of which folders get backed up, uh, what schedule exactly you wanna back them up to. So much more customizable, 
customizable in the pro version. And obviously multi-site is a thing that you get in the pro version that you don't get in the free version. So if you've got a big multi-site, uh, all these features are going to work on your multi-site WordPress install. Um, but that's probably the main ones. There's a few other features here that are pretty cool. Remote backups is kind of interesting. Restore them from the remote drive um, rather than from another WordPress page. I think that is a pretty cool one to have. But um, I'll link to this in the description as well. Um, but it's really quite a nice plugin, even on the free version. So check it out, WP Vivid. Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.